So I was on one of those DJ Facebook groups again, and I saw somebody asking about uh, classes and workshops and uh, master classes and conferences and DVDs and books that DJs that are good at what they do are making available to uh, uh, other DJs to be able to make a living or to learn more about their craft. And what I saw more than I was, than, more than I thought I would, surprisingly enough, were people that were saying that that stuff is a waste of your time and of your money. Hi, I'm Bill. This is Creative License. Uh, thanks again for checking into my little podcast. Uh, if you could do me a favor and tell a bunch of people, uh, subscribe to the podcast, uh, hit the little dingy bell, uh, like all that stuff, and share it with a bunch of people. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, my sponsors, Electric Voice, Promo Only, DJ Event Planner, Disc Jockey News, and my workshop, The Entertainment Experience. Okay, got that stuff out of the way. So um, here, this is, this is what I really wanted to, to touch on because uh, a lot of people read this stuff on their Facebook groups and they take them to heart, okay? Why would someone say that something's bad if they didn't know that it was bad? But what I was finding when I was reaching out to those people that thought that things were bad, like close friends of mine that do workshops uh, or classes or special one-on-one -on -one coaching or even the conferences. I've been to all the conferences. I know all the people that put these conferences together. And 99% of the people that I talk to all didn't like these things, but none of them could say that they did any of these things. They had not consumed any of the products they were saying were bad or a waste of time. Come on. First of all, to those people that are so naysaying that they can come right out and say something is bad when they haven't really tried it, come on. Really? Were you the kid with your mom that wouldn't try the Brussels sprouts because they look icky and you told everybody they were icky and you told them forever they were icky but you never ever tried them? You, 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 you have no leg to stand on to criticize or critique a, uh, a service and, and never have used it and never have spent the money on it. And to, to make those kind of claims and not say, well, I think it's a waste of time, but I've never done it. If you've never said I've, you've never done it, then that's, that's kind of cheating. That's kind of not, that's not fair, okay? What I would first say is, you know, stop that. Secondly, I would say, if you really want to have an opinion, spend the money. I do not know one person in the industry of, of education, including myself, that if you took their workshop or, teach, or teachings or trainings or coaching, and at the end of it thought you had wasted your money, that they wouldn't, in fact, give you back your money. That includes me. Because I take what I do really seriously, and I want to be sure that whatever I do for you when it comes to you getting trained or getting more training has an impact, okay? So for you to say that it isn't something worth trying, but you've never tried it, come on. Try it, you might like it. Try it, you might not like it, but at least you would know. You can't sit there and tell me you hate bicycle riding if you've never got on a bicycle and tried to ride it, <laughs> okay? It might be a little scary, but what have you got to lose, especially when so many of these people especially if you ask them, you don't have to ask me, but especially if you ask them and say, hey, I'm thinking about taking your course. If at the end of it, I think it's a waste of time. Do, do I have a money back guarantee? Can I get my money back? I can't believe that you're going to come up across from somebody and say, uh, have them say to you, no, 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 you're, you're risking it, you know, oh, well, but, you know, if you don't like it, too bad, I got your money. That's not how this works. They're working really hard to be sure that you get exactly what you want to get out of it. So again, you need to consider the sources when you're looking out there to find out what other people think of trying to get training within the industry you're in or just training at all. I want to go to University of Minnesota. Don't go there. They suck. Did you go to the University of Minnesota? No, but I know they suck. Really? Why didn't you ask that question? Did you go? If somebody says that uh, uh, Bill Herman's entertainment experience is awful, you're wasting your money, do you use it? Did you go? Did you spend any money with Bill? Did you see any of his workshops? Has he done any coaching with you? Well, no. Well, then you can't say, can you? Not that I wouldn't have that person in my class. I would do my, everything I could for that person. But you need to ask the question from the person trying to, because right now, believe it or not, if you haven't figured it out yet, the internet is filled with people that love to have a negative opinion about everything 
and especially if they don't know anything about it. So ask the question, what do you know? Why do you know? How do you know it? All right? So there you go. This is Bill. This is Creative License, and I'll see you next week.